just since last week. I think it's the 16th, but I'm gonna check. Okay, according to the countdown calendar, 15 was the last empty one, which was this morning. So it's the 15th. How is that possible? I have been loving doing the incense during Ramadan. I really wanted to do Bahur, but I just never found any that I was obsessed with. Good morning, you guys. Happy Ramadan day 15. I cannot believe we're on 15. I actually got some new lights because I feel like my lighting for my makeup is just not. Ooh. We'll see how this looks. It may be too bright. What do we think? Okay, I think this looks good. I hope that you guys have had a good third week, even though I'm just starting my third week. Over the weekend, we went to an iftar party. We always have an iftar party pretty much every weekend during the month of Ramadan because we have a lot of close family friends who have been hosting iftar parties with us, like all of our community, since I was a little baby. So it's really nice to like see everybody and catch up. We were really excited to host an iftar party this Ramadan as well but we decided instead of hosting for iftar we're just gonna invite everybody over for Eid and I think it will just be maybe a little bit easier on me just with the kids it is so hard you guys I just have to vent a little bit so weekends for me are a little bit overwhelming because I'm so used to having help with the kids during the week while I'm working that when it's the weekend and of course like I want to spend time with my kids by myself because I don't get that uninterrupted time during the week but then I also get overwhelmed i don't have help with them and they're both obviously at such a young age where they need a lot of attention juggling both is really hard normally i have omar to like tag team with me but he wasn't home and so it was just me and i was just like literally about to go crazy and then during ramadan i always feel guilty because i'm like well if i if this was before i had kids i would be reading more quran i would be watching more lectures i'd be trying to like take more advantage of the month but it's just literally not possible with kids and i i reposted something on instagram Instagram yesterday saying that like if anyone else is in the same boat where you have kids and you're not able to perform as many acts of worship during Ramadan as you would like to then not to like feel so guilty about it because taking care of young children and all of their needs is an act of worship within itself so that made me feel a little bit better and I thought it might make some of you guys feel better too I'm really excited because Amanda and Lauren are coming to visit next week they're not gonna be here for Eid but they're gonna come basically the week before and it's so needed like I feel like they were just here right before Ramadan but it's just Ramadan is not the same without my sisters here and I had my dad over for dinner the other night and he literally like broke down at the dining table because he was just like I never thought that Amanda and Lauren would not live here and not be here for Ramadan like I think this is the first Ramadan where both Amanda and Lauren are gone so it's extra hard for him but he did say that like you know they did move away but look like you guys moved right down the street from us and then you guys have your kids that keeping us so busy so that honestly is such a blessing within itself because yes Amanda and Lauren moved away but like I have my kids to help distract him a little bit so that's such a blessing alhamdulillah so this morning I had all these plans to film a sahur vlog and a Ramadan morning routine and that just did not happen because last night I was back and forth between both the baby's rooms and I was so exhausted for sahur I was like I'm not filming I'm too tired I'm eating praying and going back to sleep and then also this morning Jonah was super cranky i think he might be teething again or something i'm not sure but i just was not able to film a proper morning routine because of that because i was sitting there rocking him i'm trying not to feel bad about myself for not being as productive as i would have liked to be and i'm getting ready right now because i'm about to film a drop collection try on haul for tiktok i feel like i've done so many try ons for instagram and youtube i just haven't done one for tiktok yet and today we announced the drop date for the collection it'll be wednesday april 3rd i'm so excited so this video should be going live saturday so literally just a few days away they have not given me a time they didn't give me a time the last time either so i was literally sitting there waiting for a text message for the collection to drop along with everyone else so i'll have the link to the text sign up down below so you guys don't miss exactly the time it drops because last time things sold out within an hour or two it was crazy i'm really liking these lights i feel like they just actually make it so i can see my makeup better especially on camera so i can link these lights if you guys want it down below the mirror has lights within itself but they just weren't bright enough 
This week I am planning on cooking matluba. It translates to upside down in Arabic, which is what me and my siblings have always called it. We call it upside down instead of matluba. But it basically is rice with eggplant, cauliflower, chicken, or lamb. And the reason they call it upside down is because you have to like flip the pot and make it upside down and then like the vegetables are layered on top and then the rice at the bottom. I'm gonna really try to make that today because it's supposed to be really easy and I really wanna learn more Palestinian dishes, especially this Ramadan. If you guys have followed me for a while, then you know that I struggled so bad with my gut health and like just having IBS and pain and just, I literally was on such a restrictive diet for such a long time. I didn't eat any gluten, any dairy. I still don't drink caffeine, but like I was struggling so bad, especially after I had Elena. After I had Jonah, my stomach has just been so much better. It's literally one of the things that I prayed for at Umrah and like subhanAllah, I feel like I'm almost 90% back to normal. Sometimes when I eat like super heavy dairy and things like that, it still bothers me slightly, but it's so manageable now, alhamdulillah. It's like one of the things that I prayed literally every day for because it was really affecting my quality of life. So now that I'm like doing better, I guess I'm trying not to push it too much, but I am starting to like indulge in a lot of things that I used to never eat and I'm starting to try to make things that I used to never make. Like whenever I made the tiramisu, like I used to never be able to eat that kind of stuff or I don't think I made it on YouTube, but I made cheese fatayah with Elena, which is like these cheese little pastry things. And I'm just like so grateful. Like I'm still trying not to overdo it, you know, but I'm just so good. It had to have been a hormonal thing because it was so linked to like my pregnancy. I really don't even have any advice as far as like what I did to help it because it, I feel like it just kind of went away on its own. Finish my makeup. I think I'm gonna bring you guys behind the scenes of filming the TikTok today. So let's go see if we can get that done. I'm gonna bring the full collection and put it in the closet and display them here. I'm gonna clean up some of the shoes and we're gonna get to filming. guys just look how good the collection looks together i am so proud of, of this collection every piece is so stunning oh i know that you guys are going to love these I'm so excited it is so rainy and gloomy today i'm gonna set this up i switch into my phone so i can use my camera for the tiktok and i just finished breastfeeding jonah and got milk on myself so that's great the amount of times i mess up and have to refilm myself it's insane it also comes in this gorgeous pink. Okay, I think I'm gonna try that again. Even though I didn't mess up, I just wanna say it better this time. <laughs> the Abaya, it just gets like 10 times better. We did so good with this one. Okay, last one. I don't know why it's, I think because I'm fasting today, I'm like so tired from literally just trying on clothes. <laughs> okay, the last piece is this super elegant, okay now. Okay, here is the last piece. It's got this stunning twist detail collar. Okay, I'm done. We are in the kitchen today. Omar's with me. And we are going to be making matlube, which is a Palestinian dish. And it is rice, eggplant, lamb, potatoes, cauliflower. It's very comforting and it's something I grew up on. It actually translates to upside down in Arabic. Also, my family is coming over for dinner tonight. And I'm literally so scared because my dad and my mom are the pickiest eaters ever. And this is my first time making it. So here we go. <laughs> So the traditional way of doing this is to fry the eggplant and the cauliflower, but we're gonna bake it just to make it a little bit healthier. Plus that's how my mom and dad usually make it too. <laughs> What's your favorite thing I've ever made you? Well, the stew that you made the other day was really good. You can always make great food. Every time you cook, it's delicious. Right. I really love the tiramisu. Okay. <laughs> the tiramisu is delicious. I know okay. it's not like a meal, but honestly, honestly, yeah. the stew, was absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you. It babe. was delicious. Thank you, babe. Yes, that makes of course. So good. I need to cook for you more. I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have such great parents. We rely you know, on our parents. Such a lot. generous, great parents. We get fed quite often, so I'm coming to that. Coming to that. <laughs> it's hard with the babies. Yeah, it is. This already smells so good. Really? 
the spices and everything. It's my fasting brain talking. <laughs> to assemble our pot. Dates of milk. Yeah. Just like all that, all that fat in this, you know? A lot of Scoop this out. Lena, I'm impressed. I don't think That's mine good. has even been a shape like that. <laughs> For our first time, I think we nailed it. That came over. Happy Friday. It's about 45 minutes into Liftar and I am about to head to my mom's house. I have Jonah in the back and Elena's already at my mom's. My mom was watching her for a little bit today, thank God, because I have not really felt good. Like ever since I woke up this morning, my stomach has been really upset. So incredibly exhausted. I just like literally couldn't keep my eyes open. So I was able to take a mini nap while Jonah napped. Do you like to say anything to the vlog? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I want to break my fast. <laughs> It's that point in Ramadan where you're just kind of yeah. like so done. You know what I mean? <laughs> like with the fasting. You know, you just kind of want to get through it. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, we have the last 10 nights coming yeah. up, so we've got to like push through, you Take know? Take advantage of it, yeah, yeah. So anyways, let's go to my mom's and have dinner. We are at my mom's and look what is being made again. <laughs> How many times have we made this now? <laughs> this is the fourth time, <laughs> I think. So good. Yeah, tiramisu. Even Amanda made it the other okay. day. It just hits the spot. It just does, honestly, <laughs> and it's so easy. Time. Not that one. Omar and his milk. You got it from your dad. We've got salmon with garlic butter and crab meat sauce. Salad with my mom says it's everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> It's got so many vegetables, and we've got garlic, butter, mashed potatoes, and my child will not eat anything. So, oh, I'm gonna see what we're gonna do about it. Back home after eating with my parents, we got the kids down to sleep. Omar went to Tarawi. I am gonna pray at home, and then I'm gonna plan out next week because I usually like to plan out my week either Thursday or Friday the week before, and I haven't done that yet. So, like, I need to do that before 
the weekend starts or else I'm gonna be like lost and I don't know what I'm doing next week. I'm also gonna watch the next episode of the Omar Suleiman series that I haven't watched yet. And then I'm super, super tired. So I think I'm gonna try to just go to sleep as early as I can because I went to bed way too late last night because I was watching, <laughs> I was watching the Quiet on Set series. You guys, have y'all watched it or have you seen anything about it on TikTok? I was in shock like honestly i wasn't like in shock i guess but i i grew up watching nickelodeon and like the amanda show and all that and iCarly and like all of those and it's just crazy what was going on behind the scenes it's just so sickening anyways <laughs> We know if you guys have watched it. I had, like, you literally can't watch it for free unless you have, like, an HBO membership or something. So I had to buy it on Amazon Prime for, like, $10, but I literally watched it, like, all last night. <laughs> That's why I think I was so tired today because I stayed up so late. Love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next video, inshallah.